Hi, this is Trey Passer. Um, this is going to be a video uh, about the MTV show Faking It. Uh, it was an episode, an eight episode series, and basically just the story of two characters, uh, Karma and Amy, uh, go to a school in Houston, Hester High, and they want to become popular, or specifically Karma does, because she's the more outgoing of the two. Uh, uh, played by uh, Katie Stevens, plays Karma. Uh, uh, Rita Volk plays uh, Amy. Uh, and they want to become popular, and uh, they get kind of accidentally outed by uh, uh, a character named Shane, who's in this high school, the uh, unpopular kids are the popular kids, okay? So Shane is uh, a gay young man, and he happens to be like the, the, you know, the king of the school. Okay, and he has a best friend named Liam, who's uh, the local uh, uh, hottie, supposedly. And it, uh, Shane basically overhears a, a conversation, an insult that Lauren, the future stepsister of Amy, uh, calling them lesbos, and he thinks they're, assumes they're gay. And he basically outs them and he nominates them to be king and queen of the prom. Now, anyway, uh, I watched this, this, it was, like I said, it was eight episodes, and it got renewed for a second season. Okay, so it'll be back, uh, I assume, next year, uh, but I'll, I'll have to watch that. Anyway, my purpose of this video is uh, I like the show for the most part, most of the episodes. Like I said, the basic story of this, the rest of this series was Amy, the character played by Rita Volk. Basically, uh, you know, she actually, when she fake kissed her friend Karma, uh, because she, they were about to be outed as fake lesbians, she kissed her best friend Karma. To, you know, to shut people up, and then she actually felt something for her. Okay, you can tell in the expression on her face that she actually felt had cut feelings for karma, and you can tell she and she struggled throughout the series to um, reconcile those feelings that she's feeling for karma, not telling her, of course. And karma at the same time is on the slide trying to see Liam, the local hottie. She's trying to get with him, telling her that she's in an open relationship with Amy and that she's allowed to date. Uh, okay. And this show had lots of comedy in it, lots of drama, a lot of good. And, and Amy's story, the rest of the story was told mostly through Amy's point of view, okay? And Rita Volk is a, is a star, as far as I'm concerned. She just did a fantastic job in the show, as did Katie Stevens as Karma, who was kind of playing the more aggressive character, and, and she, you know, her character is kind of clueless to how Amy's really feeling. Now, uh, they had some great episodes throughout the season, Amy going to a bar, uh, Karma singing at a protest, uh, a fake threesome, <laughs> and anyway, uh, the gist of it is that, like I said, uh, Karma basically does get with Liam. They have their moment, and he takes her virginity, and which leads into episode eight with uh, Amy's mother getting married to uh, Lauren, the typical Mean Girls uh, father. Okay, and they're at their wedding, and Liam crashes it with Shane, and the gist of it is. Uh, Amy uh, basically tells Karma that she has feelings for her and that, that you know, they had another kiss. Uh, they had a kiss in the first episode where Amy felt something for Karma and then they had another kiss in the threesome episode where you, you, were, you were led to believe that Amy felt something for Karma. I mean, Karma felt something from Amy from her reaction. She had the same kind of woe reaction that Amy had in the first episode. So you're thinking that maybe Karma does have feelings for Amy. But Karma, at the last minute, chickens out of the threesome, okay, when Liam kisses Amy. And anyway, back to episode 8, the wedding. Now, this uh, Amy admits her feelings for Karma. Uh, you know, first, she tries to deny it, but Karma gets to from her speech that she makes at her mother's wedding, saying that how her mother's married her best friend, and she says she would kill to, to do the same thing, to be with her best friend forever. And, uh, and Karma feel, figures it out that Amy has feelings for her. But Karma tells Amy that she doesn't think of her that way. And of course, Amy's devastated and just says she's had it and proceeds to get drunk. Okay, and at the same time, Liam, who snuck into the wedding, he finds out from Shane that Karma has been faking it, that they, she's not in a real relationship with Amy. Okay, and of course, he's mad at her and he says he doesn't believe her and he walks away from her. And of course, Karma's devastated because Amy and Liam have walked away from her. So she goes home, and you see her at the end of the episode. She's with her mother. Mother comforting her when she's crying over, you know, supposedly losing her best friend and her boyfriend, a new boy, secret boyfriend. Now, what really made me pissed off about the last 20 seconds of this episode was supposedly Amy's getting drunk, 
you know, because like I said, she admitted her feelings for Karma and Karma doesn't return them. Okay, and Liam supposedly mad at Karma because Karma lied to him about being fake girlfriend, you know, fake girlfriends with uh, uh, Amy. And uh, she's getting drunk, and Liam, who was supposed you think left, but apparently he didn't because you see her, uh, Amy, getting drunk, and she's outside, and then the van pulls away, and then you see Liam there. And then I said to myself, don't go there. And sure enough, they did go there. They went there which where they shouldn't have gone. And next thing you know, you see Amy and Liam going at it, okay? And I just said, no, no. no. I, as soon as I saw them look at each other, I said, no, don't go there. And sure, they went there. And it absolutely ruined the whole season. It ruined, to me, it, just, it kind of ruined Amy's character. Because up to that point, yeah, sure, she was an emotion. Amy's character is, is emotional. And she was drunk. But think about it this way. Amy just confessed her feelings to her best friend who has doesn't have those feelings. And has She has those feelings for Liam, okay? And Amy is devastated by that. And she sees Liam, the guy that basically, in her mind, I guess, basically has Karma's heart. So how does she get over that? Oh, by screwing uh, Liam, right? That, that makes no sense to me. I thought that was absolutely horrendous decision by the showrunner, what's his name, his name is Carter Covington, and I've read interviews, he's trying to explain it away, saying, oh, they were drunk, they were mad, but no, I'm sorry, I still don't buy it, okay, not, I'm sorry, I don't buy it, okay, Amy has feelings for Karma, okay, she's love, in love with her, she got rejected by Karma, but so to get back at Karma, her best friend, who she's in love with, she's going to sleep with her boyfriend, she's going to give up her virginity to the guy who took her friend's virginity, so basically, you have this Liam character who's been called a hottie deuce face for the most part of this show by the fans of the show uh, because he's basically come off as a as a deuce bag basically for the most of the uh, uh, eight episodes. As this, this deuce face, they thought that he could sleep with you know, that he, that there was every guy's fanny to sleep with lesbians. And then, so you have Amy sleeping with this guy. This is the guy that Amy chooses to sleep with. I'm sorry, that to lose her virginity to? I'm sorry. I don't care how mad she was at, at Karma. She still, you think she would throw something at Liam because she was mad at him as well because he's the reason that she can't, at least probably in her mind, that, that Karma doesn't feel the way she, you know, she wants her to because, because she's in love with Liam. So why would she sleep with him? That, that would make no sense. And then why would Liam... To get back at Karma because he was mad at her for lying about her fake relationship. He's going to sleep with her best friend. That's going to endear Karma to him. That's going to make her, oh, that's that's going to endear her. That's not going to make her want to uh, throw something at him for sleeping with her best friend when she's devastated and he chooses this moment to sleep with her best friend. That's a horrendous decision by the showrunners. I'm sorry. Just. This last 20 seconds has ruined like a great season up to that point. I'm sorry, I just you know, I really like the show. I like the character of Shane and 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 Amy. Not specifically, Amy was my favorite, and the, the show for the most part has been about her journey. I, th I think, to, in my opinion, and I thought Rita Volk was great on this show, and Katie Stevens as well. And the, the actor, I forgot his name, who played Shane, I thought was great, and even uh, Lauren, the actress that plays Lauren. She actually, you kind of see her character evolve, so she became one of my favorites as well. But this last 20 seconds of this, 20 seconds of the episode just completely ruined it. And I think it was just done purely for shock value. Like at the time they filmed it, they didn't know the show was going to get picked up for a second season. So to end it that way would be, would have been horrendous anyway. That would have been a horrendous ending to a show. That, you know, they renewed the show, so thank God. And I just pray that. This, you know, the showrunner takes this into consideration and hopefully ch maybe change the thrust of his ideas for the second season because as it stands now, he's really, you know, I'm going to say it again because like I said, I like Rita Volk and Katie Seas. I thought they did a great job and I like the actors, but the right, the last, in the last 20 seconds just kind of completely ruined all the rest that came before it to me. It just, I really did. I just, I don't understand his thinking. You know, I think he just did it for shock value. I said when it could have ended a, diff a, a number of different ways, it could have ended with Amy making a drunk pass at, look at Lauren, or how, or Amy, you know, confessing that she is in love with Karma at the end of the episode, and then you don't know what Karma's reaction to that is, 
and then it kind of goes off, or you do show her the reaction that they showed in the video that Karma supposedly doesn't have feelings, but in my mind, I think Karma does, and I think she's denying. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, and you can have her maybe go off, you know, you know, driving somewhere and maybe get into an accident or something. You could have went a whole different way instead of this way, which is horrendous. I just think it's a horrible decision. And I read online a lot of fans of the show, straight and gay, just hated this last 20 seconds. And I'm among them. I just thought it was a horrendous decision to do this. I'm sorry. It just, you know, but I'm a sucker. I'm going to watch the second season. And hopefully, the, the uh, showrunner will think long and hard <laughs> before they start filming the second season. I mean, because I know it's his, his baby and stuff, but. I'm sorry, it just, it just left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths, and mine included. It completely almost ruined everything that came before it. Okay, but again, I like, uh, I just want to give one shout out uh, to uh, uh, a YouTube channel called Unsolicited Project. Uh, they're two girls from Toronto, Canada, and I'm going to leave a link to their channel somewhere in here. And uh, please uh, sub them and watch them. And watch your Faking Out Friday videos. Every Friday they review. The pre you know, an episode of Faking Out Friday, eight episodes. I think tomorrow I'm looking forward to seeing what their reaction to the last eight, the last episode, episode eight. And uh, I can't wait to see their reaction to that. But they do Faking Out Fridays and check out their reviews for the seven that have gone before. And eight, I guess, is going to be up tomorrow sometime. But they're absolutely hilarious. I'm sorry, they, they're very talented uh, young women and from Toronto, Canada. and Again, Unsolicited Project. I'll also leave a link to their channel in the description box below. Please give them a sub. Not that they need any help, but a sub is a sub, okay? And, and they're hysterically funny, okay? So definitely uh, tune them out. And again, I was just really disappointed with the last 20 seconds because I think it, it hurts Amy's character a lot because Amy's character was so sympathetic and you felt so, and you wanted her to have a, a happy moment. But it seems like this, uh, the whole season has been one kind of put upon thing. You know, she had her moments, but for the most part, it seemed like her character suffered a lot. Okay, which, and so, of course, you know, she, which endeared you to her. But that, those last 20 seconds just, and now it kind of makes you kind of feel for karma now, <laughs> which I didn't think was possible, because karma's character was was really, through most of the, the episodes, was really sort of selfish. And, but, you know, this totally gives all the sympathy to karma, to me, in my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you've seen Faking It, uh, please feel with the comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.